let's look at Frankenstein and Blade Runner. So some issues students need to address. First of all, the context. Yes, this is a study of context. Yes, markers are aware of this, but no, you won't get marks for babbling on about context. How many times have I seen students who write the opening and then they write 17 paragraphs about Mary Shelley in her time, blah, 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 blah. If you open on that, how is that relevant to addressing the particular question? Unless the question is, discuss the context of the two texts, and that's it, then it's not really that relevant to be just blabbing on about that. You want to be specific to the question and then unveiling context through your analysis, as I said before. Yes, you will get marks for subtly indicating the relevance of context through a close study of the text and how many are shaped through the techniques which are offered. So obviously, what I was saying. Some issues as well in terms of content, discussing the text in their entirety. Too much you need to be looking at specific examples. These are very heavily weighted texts. There's a lot of information in them and you can't get them all out in 40 minutes. So also discussing them generally, going, oh, okay, there's so much to discuss. I'm just going to be very vague and general. Without specific textual references is, as I said, like shooting yourself in the foot or perhaps more so relevant to our study, writing the wrong student number on the exam booklets. And yes, some students have done that before. Nightmare, I know. You need to find specific, I put that in caps because it's very important, specific examples that you can use to apply to each of the texts. So the most important or the most prominent example within the text to represent that technique and that idea, and we'll get into them shortly, and how these the idea can be contrasted and compared between the two texts. So the idea and text one, so Frankenstein, the techniques used to convey that idea and the value that's represented through that, and then text two, Blade Runner, and how that same idea is showcased in a different way through the techniques and the values underlyingly explored by the composer. Avoid the classic cliches and over um, overly discussed moments in each of the texts. So obviously there are some that that someone might argue are cliched moments. Often the climax becomes a cliche because it's discussed so much. But that's okay to discuss these key moments if you do them really well and if you analyze them to a high depth. Uh, well, not a high depth, to a great depth. Obviously, if you're not going to analyze something properly, pick a smaller scene that you can really pull apart. Don't just pick the three major scenes within the thing and then blab on about them generally. That's not good because most students will do that and you won't stand out. No band six for you. So you'll be covering, um, we'll be covering some of the ideal content from each of the texts as I said shortly. So comparing. A lot of students forget about the word comparison study or the phrase comparison study as soon as they start writing. They just start talking about Frankenstein, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look, now I'll talk about Blade Runner, blah, 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 blah. No, we need to not put it into chunks, but to analyze them together, not separately. This is... It should say, this is a comparative study. You're ignoring the very, um, the very module itself by not comparing the two texts. You need to integrate your discussion. So, Frankenstein and Blade Runner, as I said, the idea is similar within each text. So, how does the same idea reflect within each text? So, Shelley uses this technique, whereas Scott exploits this cinematic, cinematic device to highlight such and such in a different way, or in a similar way. Quotations. More human than human, get rid of it, do not use it unless you've got five million other quotes and it's a not an important feature quote within your essay. So just don't use it because most students do and it's becoming so overly used. Misquoting is also becoming a rampant feature amongst Frankenstein and Blade Runner. Just slightly misphrasing or not getting the exact quote right. It looks really bad, it looks like you don't know your text. So always get the quote exactly right. And another one in Frankenstein you often see is, You're my creator, but I'm your master. Obey. It is a good quote. It's a fantastic quote. But it gets to the p point where, because so many students use it, its significance diminishes within, you know, is this a band six response? Well, look, they've used the cliched quotes always, and they're not different. They're not standing out. Standing out is very important in the HSC. Think of how many ex exams the markers are going to be looking over in a very short space of time. Quotes that use literary devices, like techniques, obviously, are some of the best ones because it gives you more to discuss. So metaphors, for example, the light that burns twice as bright burns half as long in relation to the replicants and their lives. We're using an inherent metaphor there. We can discuss that and unpack that as well, along with the techniques that's being used, the body language, the eye contact, the lighting, the framing of the body within the particular shot, all those sorts of things are conveyed within this particular statement. So it's very helpful to use quotes like that. 
character focusing. This is a bit of an issue where a lot of students suddenly just write all about the different characters. So here's my paragraph on Deckard, and then Roy, and then Pris, and then Tyrell. And some students seem to think the film is called Tyrell, and they don't even talk about Deckard. They just spend half of it, if not three quarters of their entire essay, talking about Tyrell and him wanting to be a godlike figure, taking too much power. Yes, it's very important. Yes, do discuss it. But no, do not make it the feature of the of the film and pretend as if the film is just about Tyrell because he is just one character within a great multiplicity of ideas that are conveyed within the film. So balancing as well, as I've sort of alluded to, you need to be looking at each text equally. So try and do 50-50. A lot of students like to talk about Blade Runner a lot. Why? Because it's a film. They've definitely seen it, most probably at least. Frankenstein, a lot of students don't even bother reading the book. Therefore, they have a lot to discuss and it becomes too generic, whereas they have a lot more to discuss in Blade Runner. That's great you have more to discuss for Blade Runner, but that's not going to be great for your actual mark. So try and have that even balance. is very important so you look like you're offering a weighted argument. Just keep that in mind. And obviously, don't just in both texts pick out the obvious, so as I said, looking at just the monster. It's not just about the monster within Frankenstein as well. And it's not just about Frankenstein.